Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Kai Sawatari. The new homepage is up. It's the place to add swag to your game. Check this out. You can get high quality tokens to really make your deck pop. Magic card size, alpha cut corners. I can put mini alterations on top and they're all based on my art. Would you like to spice up your deck with some handcrafted alterations or want to get a custom proxy card or maybe a hand-drawn token? It's finally all in one place. Savatarix.com Thanks for your subscription. Yo, 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 what's up? <laughs> welcome, welcome everyone. It's your boy Kaiser Watari, aka Watarix. Welcome to this very spontaneous Friday stream. Um, I'm in the middle of the preparations for an upcoming Thanks event this weekend. Subscription. Corny! Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome to the gang again. Um, this weekend's gonna be the first time I'm going to a non-legacy tournament with my Savatarix boost. So like that's that's a little bit of a yeah, it's it's, it's news, right? Um, it's called CommanderCon Fürth. It's near Nuremberg in in Germany, like the south part of Germany, and I will be there playing Commander and um, yeah, running my booth, you know. Um, in the middle of the preparations, I'm actually, yeah, I just finished a couple of the mini alterations for the event, which people can, can grab, um, prep the, the playmats and all that sort of stuff. But I also wanted to play a little bit of magic today and like ch ch chill. So, um, that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, probably with something that's kind of close to what I want to play at my, at the Eternal Weekend main event. Um, like... The last couple of the last couple of days we, we streamed like all sorts of stuff right um like moon stompy and oops all spells and and all that kind of jank and uh today i want to play some doomsday and my commander decks oh man dude i do i gotta show you holy smokes wait so i'm taking i have three commander decks but for this event i'm gonna take two probably my two favorite ones this this one in particular is probably like my all-time favorite commander deck it has i mean first of all the deck box right <laughs> as you can guess this is a mono black deck and it's my commander is no other than the queen herself phage the untouchable so when i cast my when i cast my commander phage the untouchable from from the command zone i lose the game um <laughs> so what this deck does or like how i build this deck is to basically make sure like i dude like fate is one of my absolute all-time favorite creatures of all time um i think like 10 11 year old kai 
like went crazy after this card, right? Everyone was so excited about Akroma Angel of Wrath back then in Legions, but I was like, dude, no, I, give me Phage. Like, Phage is, Phage is what I want to do. So, um, I'm a big fan of mono colored decks anyway. And, like, what this deck really does is, like, you gotta find stuff like Platinum Angel or, like, cards that say you can't lose the game. You need to do this before casting your commander because again she will kill you if she goes on on the stack or like if she enters the battlefield so like the, the rest of the deck is just like all all i don't know whoops or like all like black stuff basically like removal card draw even a nether void which is oops a nether void which is probably like one of the uh, more controversial cards i think in command a lot of people get pissed by someone who plays nether void but he is my excuse right so this is like probably like the one of the most unique ways of nether void is that i play nether void and then i cast my commander phage the untouchable so what had what ends up happening is that like my phage as any other spell right gets countered by nether void so my commander goes from the command zone into my graveyard and then i'm gonna um get her from the graveyard to my hand there's just there's plenty of stuff in black that can do that like race dead or ill-gotten gains or it doesn't really matter what it is but like you get your phage untouchable from your graveyard to your hand and then you can finally properly cast phage the untouchable from your hand and you don't lose the game because uh you only lose the game if phage enters the battlefield if you cast it from anywhere but your hand right so that's this is a really really unique combo with nether void um i've been digging this a lot because again like nether void i think like though it's like one of the most unique cards ever and it's really mi misunderstood so definitely definitely really cool uh yeah what else i don't know that's just like a little bit of a reanimator theme to mana rocks you know sundial the infinite is also a unique one because this can end the turn, right? So you cast Fate Untouchable, and in response to her ETB trigger, the one that says you lose the game, you just end the turn. Boom. And uh, that's it. Yeah, stuff like that. So that's my that's my absolute like number one favorite deck, which is uh, Fate Untouchable. Um, and then the other deck, the other commander deck I've prepped for this weekend is my is the first time. I'm, I'm doing a three color deck um like, as i said like i'm a big fan of mono color deck the my, my second favorite deck is azusa lost but seeking which is a mono green deck this deck though is um it's kaikar uh winged fury no wins wins fury um just like commander deck whenever i cast a non creature spell i get a spirit and i can sack spirits to you know um add mana so this is like a jeskai control deck it has like sorts of plowshares card draw goblin bombardment really really cool with the, with the tokens you can you know like shoot stuff and there's like also i don't know if i can go through the cards like like this quickly but uh skull clamp obviously but there's also stuff that makes it oh yeah it's like the, the, the theme of this deck is it's mono flyers so only creatures with the keyword flying make it into this deck and there's also there's stuff like um dragons wait hold on oh like stuff like this for example oops no uh magma quake it's like earthquake it says like x um uh, red red and x and it deals x to all non-flying creatures and planes focus so guess what you're gonna wrap the board and your stuff stays on the battlefield because all your stuff flies right and then uh, Wheel of Fortune, blah, blah, blah. Um, opposition, very good. Oops. Opposition, very good. With um, with all the Kaika tokens, you can tap down opposing commanders if you want to. You can really start to negotiate, you know. Um, yeah, and I, I guess that's it. Like, Ledger Shredder, Volcanic Island, blah, blah, blah. I think, like, one probably... One of my absolute favorite cards from this deck, I gotta just quickly go through the deck here, is uh, is a card that I've... I haven't been able to play in any deck in my whole career. Because just of like how unique this card is. Um, let me see. 
and it's a card from Scourge. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go, buddy. So it's Form of the Dragon. This, this hell of a card. I don't even know if how many of you guys know what this card does. It's a seven mana enchantment. And it says at your at the beginning of your upkeep, you, you shoot five damage to any target. Player, creature, playing spoker, doesn't matter. But at the end of each turn, your life total becomes five. Okay, which is a little bit scary, but the bottom line says non-flying creatures can't attack you. So you have a moat for seven mana that also shoots stuff every upkeep. And you just gotta be careful to not run into someone who has a lot of flyers or someone who maybe drains you because that can be a little problematic. But man, 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 I have like, when can you ever play a card like this, you know? This is like this is like this is like what Baby Kai opened in in one of his booster packs back then, and I thought this card was really really strange, uh, a little misunderstood. And but finally, I have a I have a, a good deck for this, right? And another card which I think is is very good in this deck, which is also a little bit of a French card, is Mudslide. It's a three mana red enchantment, and this card says um, all non-flying creatures don't at untap; they just don't. But in the upkeep, you can pay two mana f per creature to untap it. So again, my opponent's probably gonna have like a lot of trouble untapping their mana dorks and their generals and, and, and whatnot, right? But my team, as all my creatures have has the keyword flying, they untap normally. Really cool stuff. So that's my second deck. Um, yeah, it's gonna, gonna hope that it will be on the same like power level as most other decks, but yeah, this is what I have prepped. Alrighty. Um, and I also prepped a legacy and a modern deck for this weekend because um, there will be direct challenges. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know how my blue booth looks like, I'm just gonna quickly show you. Welcome to my brand new booth, everyone. I'm Kai Savatari, aka Savataris. I paint tokens from player to player, and I also stream Magic the Gathering. And I will be at various Magic events this year with my playmats, my tokens, my stickers. We can finally meet up. You can directly challenge me in Legacy or Modern at my booth. All you gotta do is smash this button. Let's go. And you get a free roll before the game, and believe me, some of those fields are nasty. Sheesh, we got a free sticker. Let's all meet up and play magic, talk magic, hang out, have a good time, good vibes. Let's go. If you are a tournament organizer and want me to come to your event, go to solatorix.com and click event booth. I hype up your event on my social media and make more people come to your event. Drop me a line on the contact form and let's add swag to magic events. Right, that's what that's what's gonna happen this weekend in Furt, Nuremberg. Really excited. So again, I have I have modern deck with me, I have a legacy deck with me for the dagger challenges, and I have two commander decks with me and all my other stuff. So really excited about this. Alright, and today I wanna play some a little bit of legacy as I mentioned. This is what I'm gonna play today. Um in preparations for Eternal Weekend, the main event. Um, your boy signed up for both main events this time. And after playing like Oops All Spells and and uh, Moon Stompy, I, I feel like I feel like this is this is probably what I wanna play um, at the event. Um, so we got 15 lands, we got the a full set of personal tutors not my favorite but i think if you if there's so much moon stompy and eldrazi you need the full playset of personal tutors for this event um that's the sports of the vault sports of the vault is like personal tutor number five if you really want to hey simon Wotan, how's it going <laughs> mirage swamp yeah dude um sports of the vault is a is a really interesting card um it it gets you Doomsday. It gets you a Force of Will if you want to. It gets you a Dark Ritual if you want to. Um, very unique card. Also, um, its main deck, its main deck hate or like answer versus endurance already. Really neat card. Um, also plays very well with uh, like the amount of rituals, right? Because 
If you have access black mana, you can use both of the vault to get something. Alright, uh, sideboard has false negations, Emrakul, the Eon's Thorn, and Shieldog Ark, as I never skip on Emrakul, the Eon's Thorn. I will, you will never see me leave my house without Emrakul, Shieldog Isle. Um, as a backup win condition. Um, duress against tempo and control. Lotus pedals in addition in the sideboard against ancient tomb decks to be a little faster. Island versus lands versus moon stompy and that sort of stuff. And vexing bubble versus tempo decks and control decks. So that's what I'm gonna do. Six cyclists too. I've been a big fan of six cyclists. Always been. Um, there are there are times when I play less than six, but like I always I always come back to six. I don't know, that's kind of like my signature deck building too, I think, is that I, I mostly, when I do um, do wallet events or whatever, then, you know, it's it's mostly because of the, the amount of cyclers in, in this deck. All right. That being said, um, let's jump into a league. It's a pretty chill day. It's a pretty chill day today. All right. Boom. Okay, cool. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Having a good day? Currently 1 p.m. here. Okay, perfect. Oh yeah, shit. Before I, before I start, you gotta tell me our final record, chat. Type it, type it in the chat. All right. Are we gonna five and zero, oh, four and one, three and two, two and three, one and four, or do you think we're gonna go zero oh and five? Let me know what you think. Type it in the chat box. Really interested in what what you guys think. Um, as I said, this deck doesn't. It's this is like. Not some like goofy ha ha ha, um, you know, like for the memes. I have like a couple of fun slots deck. This is this is kind of like a well tuned version. I want to say um, I feel I feel favored versus uh, ancient tomb decks like Moon Stompy and Eldrazi. I think that those are slightly above fifty percent. I think um, blue black and a little bit of a of a tough one, but. There's also like so much else in, in Legacy going on. I think this deck is is definitely solid. Yaramos, what's up? MTG Viking, Dawn of Wrath, what's up, buddy? Welcome, welcome to round number one. On the play. And this is a keeper. Do any of you guys also play Commander, by the way? Like, I only talked about my decks, but like... I'm curious. What are you guys running at the moment? Must be a good feeling. I kind of want to play modern tomorrow, but my deck is power crept out of the format. I mean, we aren't talking about Nadu, are we? Ooh, dude, yeah. Cast Des uh, Desert and Mage, that's ex de that's your thing. That's like that, dude, that's your play style. You should totally build a cast deck. Grixis. Grixis control? Grixis, Grixis, yeah, I guess Grixis control.
Wasn't Cass, uh, Cass also in a, in, a, in a Legacy GP Top 8? Sure. <laughs> it's been a while, I think. Okay, so we do this, and again, that's the big upside of playing a deck with so many cyclers. You just win the game. Boop. Okay. Um, so what are we playing against? Like, Maverick? There's honestly not much we want to sideboard. Um, like we can do a swap like, like this maybe. <laughs> it's not. It's not a. It's not a big change though. Throw this pedal. Ah. Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, maybe a single daze is still better than Lotus Petal. Mm -hmm. Maybe like this. Yeah, increase Lotus Petal to three. Like force negation again is is also not. It's it's, it's fine. It's not it's not the best card versus a crop rot deck. Um. Mm -hmm. I mean, worst case, we could also just go like this, go like full speed. We go full speed and beat endurance with for spots of the vault. Sure. Next two. Also, if you, if you missed the last stream uh, from from Wednesday, you should definitely check out my YouTube channel, uh, Savatarix on YouTube, and rewatch rewatch it. It's um it's Oops All Spells. It's the first time your boy's playing Oops All Spells. <laughs> um, it was a hell of a ride. Okay, I totally underestimated. Oops all spells, I thought it's it's a very easy deck to play, and guess what? It was not. It was not. Going for the beats here. I like this. Okay. 
Well, well. <laughs> what do we do? It really depends on if they want to keep up Reclaimer too. <laughs> So we drop to 8 life. Do, do, do. If they attack us, we go down to 5. <laughs> Two cards in hand. Why don't we... Why don't we make a brainstorm pile? Let's see. No, no, that's, that's not a good idea. Yeah, let's stick to Spoils of the Vault. Spoils of the Vault, Lotus Petal, Thassa's Oracle, Island, and then some random card, I don't know, that's true, okay. doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, and we have to stay a little flexible with this because, actually I'm gonna exchange this and Put in an edge of water instead because i don't know what my opponent's gonna do next turn like if they maybe they attack maybe they keep up reclaimer it's a little hard to tell because of because of that um i also need to build my pile so that it's a little flexible all right pedal bottom yeah like this Okay. <sighs> thank you, thank you everyone for tuning in. Oh, crop rod. See, this is something I probably want to force. So, well, they have one card in hand. They have one card in hand. I mean, this has got to be a wasteland, too. Like, if they get a wasteland, I'm in. Hmm. The thing, though, is, like, I can I can beat a waste. Can I beat a wasteland? No, I can't beat a wasteland. Yeah, crop rod is always scary. No action. Hmm. No action, huh? Sure. Okay. Are we getting another wasteland? Sure. Uh huh. Let's 
attack? No attack? <laughs> oh, please, please, no wave, no revel it. Okay, we are attacking. Interesting, interesting. Um, so top card is Edge of Autumn, Edge of Autumn, Thassa's Oracle, Island, Lotus Petal. So what I can do here is... Let this resolve, that's fine. And I will go get Thassa. Yeah. End, end of turn. That's a sort of cool. Down to, down to three life. All right, and they have one card in hand. I, I need, I need that one card to not be a removal spell. <laughs> All right. This is a lethal Thassa. Oh, they power blast. Okay. That's damn. That's the first time they played a red spell. Fair enough. Fair enough. Pyroblast. Okay, cavern back in. Days back in. Force of negation out. And Cavern, huh? Um Nah, actually, my, minus a days. Yes, yeah, let's just play like one days. Two thoughtsies, cavern of souls. Okay, that's pretty really good. All right, interesting. All right, power blaster. Uh, yep, keep it a keep. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Alrighty. We got the Thassa Circles, we got an island. I will also add in a Thoughtseize, I think. Uh, there's a Thoughtseize. Actually, the island should be an underground sea. It's slightly better. And what else? Honestly, not much else. Misk man, the man. <laughs> Welcome, buddy. Welcome, buddy. What, like, where do you live? In which country? Let me guess. Okay, let me guess. Probably Australia or Japan. Maybe some Asian country. Because, like, I almost never stream at this time. As a little bit of a spontaneous stream. Um. All right, what did I say? Um, Thassa, Thassa, Thoughtsies. Australia. Gotcha. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Australia. Australia is, is one of the countries I've it which is like on my on my to to go to do list. Um always wanted to go. When when I lived in Tokyo for 10 years, I I was like like every year I was like, dude, man, I gotta go to Sydney, Brisbane, those those places to play some magic. But I ended up going to Europe instead, because that's that's where my family lives. Um, and now I, and like now I'm stuck in, I'm in Berlin, Germany, and it's the, it's kind of like the other side of the planet, which is insane. Like, <laughs> do you know how far it is? I don't need, uh, is there even a direct flight from Germany to Australia? I doubt it. I doubt it. It's just so far away. I don't, uh, is there even an aircraft that right, can... Right, right. 
you know, Thanks go that distance. <laughs> Is that true, Hero? Thank you so much for the stream. And you're right. Appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Uh, grazie mille, of course. And welcome to the stream. My name is Kai Savatari, aka Savatarix. I'm streaming from, from Berlin right now. And I'm testing a little bit of Legacy Doomsday in preparation for Eternal Weekend. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I was, in, I was about to make a pile, right? So, Thassa, Thassa, land, Thotsies, and let's just jam. <laughs> Maybe... I honestly don't know. Maybe another street ray for an I guess an edge of autumn doesn't. Yeah, I mean it doesn't really matter. Is there any chance they can double wasteland me? Potentially. You know what? I'm gonna toss in another land just in case. I, I really do not wanna lose to random land destruction. Alright. So let's put this in a pile, this in a pile. Boop. Boop. And Hi sir, how's it going? Louis XMJ! Welcome to the mix. And happy Friday. Happy Friday, happy weekend. Gonna go through Dubai or Singapore around 25 hours of flight. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, endurance crop rot. Cool hand. None of those cards are castable though. I'm gonna take the endurance. Uh, so this is it. They have one, two, three, four, five cards in hand. Yeah, cool, perfect. Yeah, so they, they don't have colored mana. That's a problem. Okay. Well, let's give it a try. How do you feel about Doomsday in a... Is a real deck in standard? In standard? <laughs> I think... Honestly, I think uh, you should probably stick to something else. In standard, I've been playing a lot of blue-black mid-range. <laughs> Welcome to my brand new booth, everyone. I'm Kai Savatari, aka Savataris. I paint tokens from player to player, and I also stream Magic the Gathering. And I will be at various Magic events this year with my playmats, my tokens, my stickers. We can finally meet up. You can directly challenge me in Legacy or Modern at my booth. All you gotta do is smash this button. Let's go. And you get a free roll before the game, and believe me, some of those fields are nasty. Sheesh, we got a free sticker. Let's all meet up and play magic, talk magic, hang out, have a good time, good vibes. Let's go. If you are a tournament organizer and want me to come to your event, go to sawatorix.com and click event booth. I hype up your event on my social media and make more people come to your event. Drop me a line on the contact form and let's add swag to magic events. Oh dude, the six black, the black, 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 demon and Jace. I mean, it, that's, that's, that's a cute one. Um, I don't know how good this deck is because you need to resolve a six drop followed by a, a three drop, right? So it can be a little tricky, especially because there are like, for example, like blue, black mid range plays a lot of counter magic too. So I don't know if it, how easy it is to, you know, pull off your, your combo. It's it looks pretty it looks pretty entertaining. Um. Okay, welcome amigos. This is round number two versus Alien. On the draw. Also, most favorite artwork of the entire deck. This card, not even close. Thomas and Baxter, what a legend, dude. This. This guy can paint. Man. Man, man, man.
Oh yeah, the Doom Doomsday Excruciator. Is it a is it a legendary creature? Can you play that as your commander? Wouldn't that be busted? I don't know if it's a legendary card, but if your commander says that everyone exiles a library, then <laughs> I don't know. And you gotta have a, a couple of quick commander games. Okay, it looks like this is the either the mirror or Froginator. So we are a little bit of an underdog in this matchup. Surprise, surprise. And this is our current sideboard. So what we will do post sideboard is vexing bubble. That that's our number one thing. The rest vexing bubbles are what we, we're gonna side in this match. Lotus petal, interesting. Interesting. Why would you want to take lotus petal? Uh, interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. No shuffle, huh? Okay, thought this is a good pickup. Uh, so it, so are these two lands. I think I'm gonna get rid of Spoils of the Vault and Delta. Ah. Maybe Underground C and no, just Doomsday and I redraw Doomsday. Yeah. Okay. I kind of want all the lands. All right. Okay. Four, five. Mm. Brainstorm, Brainstorm, Force. Well, guess what? They didn't have days, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, you know what? This was a mistake. I should have... I don't even know if I want to ponder this turn. Yeah, this was definitely a mistake. Um, but I guess I'm, I've already done it. I should have probably surveilled instead of ponder, but... Oh well. Um, mm -hmm. Right on. Mm. Mm hmm Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I guess I don't need Thassa. Once again. 
Yeah, it's an interesting take. I also don't understand why. Oh, no. No, we drew the dates now. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, this sucks. I can't even doomsday right now. Because uh, otherwise they kill me. But I think we are pretty much dead. This days, like, yeah, it should we should have drawn it like a turn earlier. Oh well. As always, like those games go that they are so razor sharp. It, it's like small percentages here and there. And well. Do we have a chance? Noob. All right. Those seven in. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like they didn't have a days. Okay, this is good news. This is good news. We can doomsday next turn already if we want to. Although we like now that there is no that second Thassa's Oracle, we might want to be a little careful with this spoils of the vault. Ba, ba, ba. Cyclists are always welcome. But the way how they play it, uh, played the game last turn was, like, I I just assume they have a consign to memory in hand. Mm. Actually, gonna 
go ahead and cycle. Yeah. Call ritual personal tutor. Okay. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so it's a four four. All right. I think it's about time, huh? could make a pie like this maybe. The rest the rest, Edge of Autumn, Cavern of Souls, Thassa's Oracle, let's see, is this good? So we dropped to 8 life. Okay, so they have us on a 1, like on a 2 throne clock. So double, no, double the rest doesn't do it for us. And we also can't put in a Lotus Petal. Hmm. Okay, so why don't we go like easy like this? They've also also used a wasteland already. I mean, like, this pile beats consigned to memory. So... Yeah, okay. Not much to add. So just yesterday, I saw Marcus Ewald uh, from Sweden. Um, it's like a like a sweet looking Esper Esper mid range deck in Legacy that had Teferi Time Raveler, and Teferi Time Raveler makes it so that your opponent can't miracle a Metamorphosis Fanatic. That's some cool tech. That's some cool tech. Like it's Teferi stops all miracle spells. Oh no, money, hold on. Hold on. Uh, brainstorm, please. Mm. 
Bada bum bum bum. Okay, so all right, start. Oh, the oh, the actual factual stifle, that's cute. And uh, yeah, other than that, like none of their none of their cards do anything. All right, sweet. Just for good measure. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. Also, if you missed it, um, I just released my newest painting, which is a copy token. Um, it looks like this. I'm really excited about this one. Um, it will drop the tokens. Uh, do I have a picture of the token? Okay, I don't have it here, but um, you can grab the token already. It's on pre-sale. And I'm really excited about this painting. Um, and I'm already on the next one, which is a sliver painting coming out hopefully somewhat soon. Okay, dipping a hand like this. Yeah, that's like that dude, that's like that's all I want to do. Play magic, paint paintings. <laughs> and uh go to events. Like this year was a this year was a fantastic year. Um, went to Impact Returns in Spain. I went to MTG once, a tournament series in Lyon, France, and then I went to the Buffalo Chicken Dip Legacy in Ohio, and to the NRG series in Madison, Wisconsin. Also, a really really cool tournament. Um, and the Four Seasons tournament in Italy. Basically, I went to all events except the ones in Australia, I think. <laughs> okay. Um, let's now name Bullfolk. How about how about this vexing bauble, my dear? Thanks for your subscription. Francis! Thank you so much for the for the sub. Appreciate it. How are you doing, dog? How are we doing? Mm-hmm. Oh man, like reanimating a metamorphosis fanatic is kind of unflavorful. <laughs> dude, you, you're supposed to miracle this dude. <laughs> okay. Um, three cards in hand. This is what? This is 10, 13. Oh wow, they can. Oh, they can kill me next turn? Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Mm -hmm. Well, if they can kill me, that's usually trouble. What do I do? So for okay, yeah, this is yeah, 10, 13, and then they draw four okay, so they have exacties next turn. So unfortunately I have to crack this vexing bubble. Cause I do Yeah, because I do need to. I can't I can't win this turn if there's vexing bubble in play. Okay. Brainstorm, give me something. Give me give me mana. Okay. Is this good enough? I mean not really. I could. Ah 
Is there any chance we can win this turn? Spoils for Black Lotus, right? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I can spoils for Lotus Petal. And I need to hit a land, I think. Oh, Vexing Ball Wolves. Well, I, th I think we are dead now. I think we are dead now. Oh, there's a Dark Ritual. So, hold on. So, we can cut... Oh, man. This is this is a tricky one. So, like, we can... <laughs> we can actually... Kinda go off. Um, the problem I have is that <laughs> what are we, what are we doing now? Like if, if this doomsday resolves, I have a cantrip here, so I can, I get to draw a card. So I could draw spoils of the vault, but that just doesn't, doesn't do it for me. I need blue mana for Thassa. Doomsday scoop. <laughs> Did you need to crack bubble Cabal into Doomsday and put a land on top? Edge into some pile. Shit, did I miss that? Did I miss that line? <laughs> did I seriously miss that line? Uh, yeah, though I, I think I screwed up this game. I don't know if I if I, if I yeah like night man night whisper. Sheesh, sheesh, dude, that card, man, I love that card so much. I love that card so much. I should put it back into the deck, and beat in the sideboard. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, but we didn't. Good note. Okay, you know what? Let me... Before we go to the next round, I will put a Night's Whisper in the deck. I always forget how good Night's Whisper is, especially if you run so many Cabal Rituals. Because you can turn extra Cabal Rituals into card draw if you have a Night's Whisper in your deck. Somewhere. It doesn't have to be in the main deck. Uh, it can also be in the sideboard, but like Cabal Ritual and Night's Whisper are best friends. Uh, let me see if I can... I can doctor this immediately. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Sold by color. 22 blue cards. Okay. Um, so what I can do is I can cut a Ponda for a Night's nice Whisper. I could also cut the Spoils of the Vault for the Night's Whisper, of course. Oh, I use Ideas Unbound. Um... Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I think we either cut Ponder or Spoils of the Vault for Night's Whisper. I also like we could technically cut this the six cycler. But like Oh man, I I think against Ancient Tomb decks, Eldrazi's Moonstomp, like you I s I, I just think we, we want I wanna have like the max amount of of uh of cycler so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna cut the ponder ponder's a terrible spell anyway who needs ponder so night's whisper is the fourth ponder right it's funny because i said the same thing about night's whisper i said like night's whisper is the fourth ponder and now we have sports of the vault and night's whisper which are both the fourth ponder <laughs> so this should be like a 21 blue count and 21 is okay it's not fantastic for force of will but it's still okay I like this a lot. This looks this looks great. This looks great to me. Okay, cool. But for the time being, we're gonna stick to the current list, right? What up everyone? 
Do you see all these original paintings behind me? Well, you can't really play magic on paintings, can you? But you know what I got you covered? You can absolutely play magic on play mats. That's right. All play mats are limited to 20 each and they're all numbered and signed individually. Spirit, Storm, Construct, Stitched edges, cause they rule. Yeah, welcome amigos. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the third round of this league. Boop, boop. On the draw. Boom, 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 boom. Don't mind me, just checking. No mods and core. Right. Do you know now, dude? Like, personally? <laughs> like, I'm not his closest friends. Uh, I don't know where Nadu lives. I mean, probably in hell, because it got banned in almost all formats. Cabal Ritual Force of Will. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh yeah. How is he? Like if Nado was a magic player, would probably a really like obnoxious control control mage. And he dude, he's called the winged wisdom. Okay. So banned. Cavern of Souls on Soldier. Soldier boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like the opposite of uh, the opposite of. Leo, Leo Vault. Yeah, Leo Vault is like like the like the dude you should never you should never hug, touch or kiss or anything because every time you do it, he draws a card. Terrible friend. Actually, let's see. Man, I do want that top deck brainstorm too. Give me the brainstorm. And now I'm gonna go go search. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's like Leo World is, is the one friend who's a little bit too sweaty. Like you shouldn't, you shouldn't touch him. Like you shouldn't hug him. <laughs> oh wait, do we have more so- Do you have a soldier for blue mana? What? Okay, well this guy we can force. 
Oop. And this is ex this is ex excellent use because it they have three cards in hand and it look doesn't look like they have the blue pitch, so I'm gonna go for the kill here. <laughs> Illusion for the king. Um, or does a uh, okay. Yeah, what a chill league. Okay, um, Vexing Bob, dude, they, they probably hate Vexing Bob. Let's get those in. Ah, 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 um, cavern out. One personal tutor out. Oof, Cavern of Souls, hmm. Like, Cavern of Souls kind of messes with our, with our plan. Let's put out a couple of days. I also don't think we need the Edge of Autumns. Uh, maybe we don't need... Uh, what, if, what if we do this? Do we have enough blue cards still? 18 blue. Okay, that's not enough. That is not enough. Not at all. But like, so what do they usually name with the cavern? Is it wizard because of of, of Nadu and and Thassa? His core is like Nomad and core is a soldier, and Lusionist is oh, I guess Lusionist is a wizard too. Right, but it's like they are a cavern is a little awkward, right? Because they have they don't they can't cover all creatures with one cavern. Maybe they should play four. They should play. F <laughs> they should play. They should play four and like name core wizard frog human dragon. Uh, I also don't know what I want to do here. I don't know what I want to do. Uh, I, I don't need this many rituals, by the way. So if they get predator turn countered, you can make you can make a baby doomsday pile of cabin plus oracle. Oof. Okay, safety first. <laughs> I 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Um, Fossilization Memory Journey, Nadu, Cephalid, Ponda. Wow, this is a stacked hand. Um, I like taking the Ponda. Ponda or Cephalid? That's, it's gotta be Ponda. Great hand. A uh, great ponder. Yeah, I guess like, yeah, I think uh, our ponder was, we got rewarded a little bit. Uh, five cards in hand. Don't fluster storm me. Question is, do we pitch Thassa or do we pitch Days? I feel like we pitched Thassa. There is so like the mana is so limited right now. Oh no, they had another force. That's a bummer. Well, <laughs> okay. So they so they put back force will and force negation on top of the library. Fair. Yeah, <laughs> both, 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 both players are uh, out of cards in hand. Mm -hmm. No, actually, wait, hold on. This is not what I want to do. Fetch first. Ooh-wee. Um. Alrighty, um, they have, zero, they have zero cards in hand. Um, not much we, um, should be worried about. Maybe, maybe nothing. <laughs> Yo, fellas, did you know that you can also get tokens with mini alterations on them? 
Let me draw something simple on it, usually patterns or elements to make the token pop and it's perfect if you're on a budget but still want a one of a kind. Go to salataris.com, select the token you want and then you go to type and select normal with mini alterations, add it to the card, boom, done. Get your goblin tokens with extra swag. Yep, 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 extra swag. Extra, extra swag. It's a good one. That was that was that was a good that was a good game. Um, yeah, Nadu Nadu is definitely a positive matchup. Definitely a positive one. Dude, this deck this deck is looking better and better. <laughs> oh yeah, also. Not a single graveyard hate card in, in the in the entire 75. <laughs> in a in a meta game where people go and tomb reanimate all the time. Um what can I say? Peak peak deck building. Peak deck building. And the philosophy behind this is of course if you can if you can kill your opponent then reanimate doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Welcome, welcome, amigos. This is round number four. And you're on the play. Nice. Finally. Finally on the play. Yes, it's fast and furious. Down to six. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Do we just take Dark Ritual? Okay, I mean this looks all cool, but what about what about this doomsday? What about this doomsday, huh? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, that's just not much I want to play around. Um, I could do it mono black. I guess they can they, they can discard me maybe mm. but I really can't think of many things um, yeah let's just I don't know 
I guess we can add in a land to, to play around. Wasteland, but like even that doesn't really matter. Yeah, I feel like nothing matters. <laughs> nothing matters. All right. This is the I don't give a shit pile. You should note it down. I don't give a I don't give a shit pile. <laughs> That's the most common pile. Like if you play if you play so much Doomsday, like at some point you, you you're gonna stop caring. <laughs> oh wow, this is the white black surveillance. Okay. Man, hopefully you don't play like Hushbringer. Got a new Captain Stabbin, 12,340. Captain Stabbin! Welcome, welcome. At the first time chat, of course. Welcome to this channel. Maybe I should stream more often at this time to also to also uh, catch up with you all from Australia. Um, cause my my stream on Wednesday night is usually 9 p.m. German time, and it should be around what like early afternoon in the states or noon maybe. Congratulations, we received 100 messages today on the restream. Thank you so much. Six hour ahead of the of Eastern USA. Okay, so now it's what? Oh, it's 8 a.m. in the morning. Cereal and coffee time. <laughs> wow. wow! Mono black, baby. Gonna give me those false negations. Also give us... Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't need the cavern of souls. Don't need... I don't know if we need Thoughtseize in this matchup. Maybe I will keep one just in case. Mm. And probably cut a daze because they have so much fast mana. Like who knows, maybe they are on a, on a Leyline Helm of Obedience deck maybe. There is a ley line, as promised. As promised. Many fantasies are being transformed into reality by modern science. So this looks like a turn two doomsday to me. Okay. What have you got, brother? Ooh, Helm of Obedience. Now watch this chat, all right? This is the true power of Spoils of the Vault. 
See this? Lethal spell. We don't want this to happen. Guess what? Boom. Force of will on its way. That's just good deck building. Wait. Force of will, my friend. Boom. Oh, wow. We found a force of will. That's great. That's magic. Cam. Okay, so thanks to Spose of the Wolf, you are still alive. Good card. You should never cut it. There's another Force of Will. Another Daze. Daze looks great, though. Daze looks great. I don't know about the other cards, but we are looking for a third land, so I'm gonna actually shuffle. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, you know, and sometimes you just do this, right? <laughs> And sometimes you just, you just kind of get everything. Boom. Uh, top card force of will, of course. Of course. And let's do it like this. Beautiful. Enlightened Tutor in Upkeep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What is it, my dear? <laughs> Enlightened Tutor. Disrupt the fluid. Right on. Right on. Man. Yeah. I mean, that's a co cool card if it resolves. Hey, what's up? My name is Kai Savatari, aka Savatarix. I'm a magic player and I paint tokens for other MTG players. Brainstorm? Stoneforge Mystic Activation. Sure. Und den Jump Token bringe ich rein. Yeah, what's poppin' everyone? Uh, welcome to the fifth and the final round of this league. We are currently three and one. And I'd be really happy if we can wrap this one up as a 4-1 league. Um, yeah, strong deck, strong show in. Please don't force me. Nice. Okay. I'm just I'm just gonna go all in here. I'm just gonna go all in. So Street Fray for Lotus Petal. Actually, no, that's a terrible pile. Hold on. That is a terrible pile. Let's do a different pile. Um
how about how about this the edge of autumn for led and then we and then we just go through our entire pile here uh, we, we go down to 10 life, we lose 8 life, we, we should be done. So we lose to double gut shot. This, of course, another pie you can o only do with 6 cyclers. <laughs> mm hmm. There's Black Lotus. Let's just hope our opponent is not on a green deck and press endurance or yeah. Endurance beats us, but oh well. Wow. Unknown opponent. Chat alright, you got 20 seconds. You got 20 seconds. What should I board? How should I board versus unknown opponent? Let me know. 20 seconds. I will do... I will blind follow the best comment, okay? Like, we got away with the game, the first game. Like, we can kind of do whatever on the second turn. And it's in the second game. Emrakul for the meme. Like, Emrakul and Sheldog Isle. <laughs> or just Emrakul. We know if he casts all our rituals and LED, like we can, uh, we can actually hot cast this, this thing is right here. Take out all oracles and win with pure, win with pure swag. <laughs> uh. Okay, uh, I will do. As you say, uh, Emrakul in Sherlock in, you cut an Oracle, and maybe something else. Just for the memes, just for the memes. Maybe a days. Extra swag. Okay, is this what we're gonna submit here? <laughs> uh. Cut both oracles or no balls? Are you kidding? Wait, I, I already clicked on the submit deck button. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, back, back, back. Um. Okay, you know what? I can for I I will do. I will do this, right? I will cut all oracle just for the memes. And I will only kill with Emra Cool. But then I also want force negation. Maybe two force negations. Oh shit, I should also cut the Calvin or Souls. I'm a d fuck, I'm at such a dingus. Oh no 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 no. Okay, and anyway, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, we have a Calvin or Souls in the deck for no creature. Yeah, no oracles. <laughs> Dude, okay. Okay, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. We have a useless Calvin or Souls in the main deck. <laughs> Uh, I mean, this is all. This is all how you ruin play points on Magic Online. T terrible card. Terrible card. <laughs> Please go easy on me, opponent. Oh, dude, I. I think our opponent is like playing a serious deck here. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, this is the fucking MVP. Oh, duress. Okay. Is this the mirror? What? I don't know how good Emra Kuleon's Thorn is against, against a duress deck. <laughs> hmm. Nice, 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 nice. Wait. 
One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Okay, nine more. Nine more mana. Hello. Konnichiwa. Yeah, what a what a beautiful hand. Brains yes, I need I do in fact need that brainstorm. Um Cavern of Souls and Edrasi. K -k 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 combo <laughs> Man of cards. Oh yeah. Dude, who cares? Who cares about Street Ray, dude? Who cares? Okay. Prismatic oh man, I don't dude, I have no idea what this is. Prismatic Vista? Dude, no idea. No, no fucking idea. We got oh, yeah. Rob Job. Rob Job 4. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you so much. Do you really think this is show and tell? Is or like Ad Nauseam Tendrils? Does Ad Nauseam Tendrils play Prismatic Vista? Lim Dual Souls. Sick. For Nia, thank you so much for the 39 sub uh, months sub. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hell yeah. Okay, you know what, guys? You, you got me convinced. I will stream in different time zones more often. Right? It's a fantastic time. It's like, again, it's 2... It's two 2.30 p.m. in Germany. I started around noon. Again, not a time where I usually stream, but I... I get to... I, I get to, to see you guys, like, from... From parts where it's usually night when I stream. Like, on on, on, on Wednesday, my, my stream starts at 9 p.m. here. That's usually when folks in Australia are already asleep. Should I do an everyday stream challenge? Maybe next week? Like, I stream magic every single day. Who wants to see every day stream? I don't know if my body can keep up with this, but... Show and tell! Alright, okay, okay, you know what? You know what? We got... This is a special one, okay? This is a really special one. I could force this, but... I... Come on, come on, like we are not gonna... Resolves. Resolves. Hello. Bola Sita. <laughs> this is so fucking in there. Can, can someone please clip this? No fucking way, dude. They better win this turn. Otherwise they are... Otherwise they are done. And remember, like we don't have... Noxious Revival. Well, this... On what? On Duress? Oh, they want to put Duress on top? So... Hmm... Sure, that's okay. They can also cast Duress, no problem. I have two forces. Sure. Oh man, dude, I'm telling you, we, again, we don't have a Thassa's Oracle in our hand, right? This is our win condition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the current record we are we are seeing a three and one and we are already up a game. Dude, this is this is a sick deck. This is a sick deck. This is a sick deck. This is a sick run. This is a sick creature. This is a sick cavern of souls. Love it. Definitely not garbage. Another noxious arrival, sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, okay. Well, they got me now. 
So you better win. Better show me that Senza's dividing top. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Hey. There's nothing more to add. There's nothing I want to add to this. I'm gonna shoot you guys over to some other streamer. I think I can't top the I can't top this greatness you just saw. So I will shoot you guys over to some other uh, to some other streamer. Again, I will be in at the Command Con Nuremberg uh, this weekend, so I won't be able to stream. I will be, um, you find me at the Salatorix booth. It's gonna be like a command Forty. event. Really excited about the event um, on both Saturday and Sunday. Now we'll be back on Monday. And hopefully we'll be able to do another stream. So that's what's up. That's what's up. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to shoot you over to Canister MTG. And um, as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Like, if you want to support me or... Yeah, if you want to support me and what I what I do, um, definitely, you know, go check out my homepage, Savatarix.com. And get your... Uh, what's it called? Copy token. That's the newest one. That's the newest token I've done. Let me just quickly show you once again. I painted this thing just two days ago. It looks like this. Uh, this is the actual painting. And it's a copy token for Fable of the Mirror Breaker if you want to copy something or for... I don't know, man. There's so many copy effects, right? Like, uh, what's it called? Springheart, Nantuko. And there's like a whole lot of other stuff in Magic that can copy stuff. So, yeah. It's it's one of the larger paintings. Also, it should be... It's actually somewhere in my bag. Oops. Right there. Um. So, yeah. That's uh, that's one way how you can be part of the gang, right? Savatarist.com. Also, check out my socials. It's Savatarix on all social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, and all of this, right? And I will be at magic uh, at several magic events as well. So, really, really cool. I'm going to start. I'm going to prep the stream and the, the raid. And see you guys in a second. Hey, what's up? My name is Kai Savatari, aka Savatarix. I'm a magic player and I paint tokens for other MPG players. Brainstorm. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my den Jump Token bringe ich rein. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much once again for tuning in. My name is Kai Savatari, I had a blast today. Have fun with Canister and have a good weekend. Alright, cheers.